Doing it live. A maiden at night. FPV at night. <laughs> Jack did it. Ended out ended up pretty good for him. What did he made in at night? His 50 on a untested vector. And it worked out just fine. We have a drunk pilot. You are clear for takeoff. It's almost easier to see without the light. It is. Hey guys, this is Ian with Team Legit and I'd like to give you a tour of this uh, E-Flight Havoc that we've put together which is now an FPV Night Havoc. But I'm gonna go through uh, the equipment that I've changed and uh, kind of show you exactly what I've used at each stage. So starting with the front of the aircraft, uh, we have the Runcam Night Eagle installed in the canopy. Um, now the way I did this was uh, took a knife and kind of sliced the stock canopy coming down and then from the front to kind of make it a little contoured there. Um, I wanted to maintain the uh, camera bracket inside the foam rather than just gluing the camera directly into the foam because I wanted to be, be able to use two different cameras and swap them back and forth pretty fast. Um, we love the Night Eagle. We love flying at night with it. Um, but it is uh, not too fun in the day to be black and white all the time, especially with uh, some of the really high quality daytime uh, color cameras that have come out recently, uh, like the Phoenix. Um, so uh, keeping that bracket to be able to swap cameras really was uh, pretty important. Um, we painted the nose black um, just to give, uh, so you do see the nose in the FPV view, but uh, painting it black just um, makes it nice and dark. You don't have a bright nose thrown off the, con the uh, exposure of the camera. The primary uh, show here is the lights embedded in the wings and the tail, uh, both top and bottom. So the main wings and the tail plane have lights on the top and the bottom, and then the vertical stab has uh, lights in it as well. These are high density LED strips. So getting the strip lighting actually embedded in the wing um, is not too hard if you have a Dremel with the height adjustment. Basically sketch out with a pen on the wing uh, where you want the light to go. Um, then we take a blade of some kind just to make cri uh, crisp edges, and then using the Dremel with the height adjustment, you can just kind of Dremel out um, the area where the strip is going to go. You only need a few millimeters, but the Dremel makes it really easy, especially with EPO. We use it a lot for EPP, um, and it works good there, but EPO, because it's a denser, more firm foam, it really um, cuts away really quick. Then to actually hold the lights in, uh, they do have an adhesive strip on the back, but I'm trying 3M Blenderm tape. Uh, so this will be a test of this kind of stuff. It's meant for um, hobby and medical applications. Uh, it seems really sticky. It's very um, malleable and seems to stick really well. So we'll see how this holds up. That is them set to their low setting and that's set to full blast. Uh, they're about 20 watts when they're full powered and we have green on the top and then orange on the underside. Now, in addition to the wing lights, uh, I put a headlight on the um, steerable uh, nose wheel. So that's an LED chip uh, being driven at about three watts through a wide angle lens. Uh, now, all those parts uh, I got from ledsupply.com. They're not like a hobby site, they're just an LED supply site, uh, which is where I figure you get the good stuff. The way the nose light is configured, um, it is mounted on the uh, steerable nose wheel, which kind of makes an interesting effect FPV. It is bright enough to project out um, while you're uh, taxiing around or hopefully coming in for a landing um, so that you can see it in the, uh, in the Night Eagle. Uh, but then we have it set up so that when the gear retracts, the light turns itself off, which is on its own switch. And then when you extend the gear, the light's delayed coming on and then turns back on.
So now let's take a look at the main compartment of the aircraft. Uh, on the main power leads, I've got an XT60, uh, is what we normally use, and then two JST taps. Um, so these are going to be uh, straight uh, six cell power um, coming out of here. One is going to be for the lighting, and one is for the FPB system, which just simply plugs in like that. I am going for the world record on JST usage in a single aircraft here. I'm going to guess I've got 14 JST connectors in here. The other JST connector goes to here. Um, and the order of progression here is that this guy is a Castle, uh, Castle Beck 2.0. This is my favorite Beck. It's very pricey, but tons of amperage, uh, variable output up to 12 volts. Um, so you can just think of this as like a juicy 12 volt regulator, which is what the lights run on. So from 12 volts here, um, some of that power is split off to this LED regulator or driver, which drives the nose light. Um, the nose light is just a simple LED chip which runs on roughly three volts, and that's a 700 milliamp constant, uh, constant amperage driver for the nose light. Um, and that's running off 12 volts, although it actually goes up to 30. Those things are pretty cool. Also from the castle set to 12 volts, we go into this Hobby Wing brushed crawler ESC. Um, so this is pretty cool. It's a small ESC for brushed motors that goes up to three cell lipo or 12 volts, which is pretty rare. That drives uh, all of the strip lighting. Uh, why am I using an ESC instead of a switch? So that we can have variable brightness. One more item in here is this remote switch. Uh, so that's a 30 volt, 10 amp uh, Turnigy, just RC switch. And that drives the nose light on and off. Um, so its behavior turning on and off and delaying with the landing gear deploying is all just mixing inside the Tyrannus. And then elsewise, I'm just running the uh, FR Sky L9R, which is one of my uh, favorite receivers. Uh, it's not the R9 system. It is a 2.4 gigahertz receiver um, that's just longer range. You do lose telemetry, uh, but the main thing I'm looking for is pack voltage, and we get that through the just directly through the OSD in the camera. So we've yet to made in this aircraft. I wanted to make this video and kind of show what's what, just because you never know what's going to happen on the maiden flight. We will have some flight video of this aircraft, especially at night, especially FPV. So check in the description below for a link to that video.